The cargo ship Rena ran aground on a reef off New Zealand's northern coast back in October. Within days, it started shedding its load of cargo and leaking fuel. By January, after months of being battered by pounding surf, the vessel split in two. On Wednesday, the whole of the stern finally disappeared beneath the waves completely. Now authorities have filed charges against the owner, Dyna Shipping, a subsidiary of Greek giant Costamare, for discharging harmful substances. The company faces a maximum fine of 600,000 New Zealand dollars, the equivalent of nearly 490,000 U.S. dollars, plus another $10,000 for each day the offending continues. The wreck had created what many consider to be the country's worst environmental disaster. The 400 tons of spilled fuel spoiling pristine beaches and killing untold numbers of fish and at least 2,000 seabirds. Maritime New Zealand's local commander acknowledges conditions have improved since the worst of it. There's still a little bit of oil there, but it's minimal. And we're maintaining that state status um, right the way through and as long as it's required until we get to the stage where we've cleaned the, cleaned the lot up and we've returned the beaches back to as close as possible the condition that they were in before this incident began. Last month, a preliminary government report found when it crashed... The Reno was taking shortcuts to try and reach port by a deadline. The ship's captain and navigating officer already have pleaded guilty to charges, including mishandling the vessel. They're due to be sentenced in May. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.